Hi, I'm Johnny from ultimatepapermache.com. Is it actually possible that there's an easy way to make paper mache clay with DAP, drywall joint compound, even though I've been telling you for years that it won't work? This is what normally happens when we mix the DAP drywall joint compound with Elmer's glue, which is also in the paper mache clay recipe. It turns out all stiff and lumpy and kind of weird. Sometimes it even gets rubbery like flubber. When you mix it in with the other ingredients in the paper mache clay recipe, it doesn't spread on evenly. It's bumpy and you just can't smooth it out. It just doesn't work very well. There's also another brand, Worth. It's kind of a new product evidently and it works exactly the same way. But Rhea Rogue recently told us that well, she actually did a, an accidental experiment because she she bought some DAP and when she got home she started reading the recipe again and realized that she would bought the wrong brand. But she happened to have some Gorilla Glue in the house so she tried that instead of the Elmer's Glue All that the recipe calls for and she said it actually worked. Can't really be that easy just just use a different glue I had to find out. Now, now remember, the Gorilla Glue that I used was wood glue. Gorilla Wood Glue, they've got a lot of different kinds of glue. This is the only one that I have tested. I mixed up a spoonful of the Gorilla Glue with the drywall joint compound, just like I had with the Elmer's, and you can see the difference right here. The Elmer's um, mixture takes just a little bit of time to get kind of lumpy and weird, whereas it was almost immediately clear that the Gorilla Glue and the DAP joint compound was working really well. It was really smooth. It was creamy. It was just exactly the way we want it to be before we mix in all the other ingredients. But we still got a big question. What's going to happen if we do make it into paper mache clay with all the other stuff? Well, basically uh, toilet paper and and flour, <laughs> not a whole lot of other products, but some. And if we mix it all up together and then use it to make a sculpture, is it going to turn out as hard as the regular paper mache clay. So I went ahead and tried that too. I mixed up some paper mache clay, a really little batch of it, because you know there's no point in making a whole great big <laughs> glob of something that might not work. I put it over this little tiny silly armature of a face and then I was in a hurry because I really wanted to know if this would work or not. So I threw it in the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know offhand what that is in Celsius. I put it right there. It took about, oh, maybe 40 or 50 minutes in the oven. Didn't take very long. So this is how it turned out. It, it worked really well. It, as a matter of fact, it, there's no difference at all between this and what it would be like if we had actually used the original recipe using a non-DAP drywall joint compound and the Elmer's glue all. So they both work. Now, if you're wondering, will the Worth brand work exactly the same way? I don't know because it's not available anywhere near where I live. I can't, I can't test that. But you can because you can do the exactly the same experiment that I did and find out for yourself. If you live in another country and there are brands there that I've never heard of, of course, I can't go out and buy those and do the experiment for you. You just have to make a tiny batch of the paper mache clay to find out if your drywall joint compound is going to work or not with the glue that you happen to have on hand. So thank you, Rhea, so much. I really appreciate the fact that you uh, took the time to tell us that this actually worked for you. This is going to be a real game changer for so many people who can't find anything except DAP. They really have kind of taken over the the joint compound market here in the United States. There's, there's a lot of towns where you just can't get anything else. Now go make something and come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.